So over here you can see that I have a Blender project opened up and then when you open up a Blender project, a scene is automatically created. So in Blender, what it allows you to do is it allows you to create multiple scenes. And to do that, I can go up over here and click on this icon if I want to select a scene. But since uh, this is a fresh start of a project, you can see that I only have one scene over here. But if I want to create multiple scene, I can go over here and click on this icon and click on new and a new scene is created. So I can press shift A right here to create a new object just like this. And I can go around over here and make a circle as well. So let me just go around over here and keep these objects right here. So this is another scene. I can go around over here and create another scene again. So press shift A and over here I can go around and uh, let's say for example, if I were to click on Ice Spear right here, this is another scene. So I can go up over here in the scene right here. I can choose scene one. Uh, that is the first scene. I can go to another scene right here and I can go to another scene. If I want to rename a scene, then I can simply go over here and rename out the scene according to what I like. So I can go around over here go around and then just type in the scene name just like this. And if I were to click here, you can see that there's three scenes right here. So if I were to click over here, I also have option to copy scenes. Let's say for example, if I want to copy the scene, I can go around and then click on copy settings right here. So the scene uh, settings has been collected, but the objects itself is not uh, copied right there. Only the settings are copied out. But if I want to let's say for example, do a full copy, then everything is copied out, but these are independent. So if I were to move this object right here on the center and then go around onto the link scene, then you don't see any changes me. But if I were to go around over here in other scenes, so let me just go around over here onto this one. Let me get, just give it a more reasonable name. Uh, for example, copy just like this. So if I were to go over here onto this one and click on linked copy right here, just like this, now another copy01 has been created. So if I were to go to copy01, select this and move this and go back to copy, you can see that uh, the object has moved in both of the scenes right here. That is what linked scene actually means. So now if you want to, uh, let's say, share the objects between uh, different scenes, then you can press control L on your keyboard and then over here, you can see that I can copy the object to scene now. So I have this object. I have this uh, menu that popped up. So I can go to object to scene and then I can, let's say, for example, select uh, the G, F, G, D, G, whatever that I named. So if I were to actually move this and select that scene now, what happens is that I have the object in that scene as well, as you can see. So I have the object uh, in the copy right there and in this one as well. So if you want to share out multiple elements in different scenes and you want to copy the attribute uh, while you're at it, then you can simply use this feature. And this comes in very, very handy if you're working with a project that requires a lot of scene. And that is how you can work with scenes inside of Blender. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.